In today's Money Matters, entrepreneur Clint Arthur gives us five great strategies on how to make more money because of the down economy. He also wrote a terrific book. It is called The Income Doubler. Double your income in 180 days or less. This is exciting. Clint, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about the five tips that you mentioned in your book. The first one is everybody needs better products at better prices. So at least now you know what to strive for. Right? Exactly. During good economic times, you don't know what's going into a buyer's decision. They could have all kinds of reasons. But during these lousy economic times, if you come in and you have a better product with a better price, you have a real opportunity to get your foot in the door and get that sale every time. How do you try to figure out what the better product is, what the better price is? Well, if you don't have quality, you mm -hmm. might as well go home. You right. have to start with quality. And you have to know your market and know what the real price for your product should be. The next one is positive people get noticed. So basically, get positive, get noticed, and become a great salesperson. It's really hard when the guy next to you on the bar stool is moaning and groaning into his beer about how lousy the economy is for you to have a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make it, you have to have that positive attitude. You have to be listening to motivational tapes and inspirational recordings instead of downers on the news in your car radio when you're traveling. You somehow have to get up for that meeting. You've got to just stay positive. Do whatever you need to do. Do, talk to a friend, listen to tapes, do anything, right? You've got to make it happen, Okay. especially now. Get your foot in the door because of the vulnerability that we're seeing in the marketplace. Yeah, during good times of economic prosperity, long-standing supplier relationships are so hard to break. Mm -hmm. But during these rough economic times, if you are a positive person, you have a good product, you can get your foot in the door and you can knock out the longest-standing supplier relationships and it's an amazing opportunity to do that because of the bad economy. I have a friend who has a limousine service. Maybe there's a huge company that's been using a different limousine service for years and years. So maybe this is now an opportunity for him to say, hey, try me because the climate is vulnerable, for example. Yeah, purchasing managers have to justify every decision. They mm -hmm. can't just rely on business as usual when they're assigning contracts. They have to look at alternatives. They have to explore every opportunity to make money or get a better deal. The fourth one is new ideas make money. Explain this. Oh, well, if, if you have a better mousetrap, the world will be the path to your door. Mm -hmm. Well, during the rough economy, people are looking for new ways to make money every place that they can possibly find it. So now is the best time to get your new better mousetrap to market. Sounds kind of like what Warren Buffett said recently, that it's raining gold out there. You just have to be able to get out there and do it in this kind of climate. Yeah, that's really about seeing opportunities where they, where they are. So during the rough economy, there's always opportunities. Anytime there's kind of turbulence in the economy, there's an opportunity for somebody to make money. You have to be positive. You have to create a, a true belief in yourself that you deserve to be making money and not down in the dumps with the rest of the people who are moaning and groaning. So so you need to train your brain to deserve that extra income, and that's what the Income Doubler is really all about. It retrains your brain to believe that you deserve to be earning twice as much money in 180 days or less. Clint Arthur, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having the me. The Income Doubler, pick it up. All right, we're going to take a look at the roads this morning and uh, talk about